Do you dream of outdoor kitchens? I know I do. And Brian is back to make those dreams a reality. Well, sort of. So you're sharing <laughs> some design expertise when it comes to outdoor kitchens. They have boomed during the pandemic. Are you seeing this with your clients? Oh, everyone wants them. Yes. Everybody wants an outdoor kitchen because we, we've seen the, the change in just outdoor furniture over the last 10 years, how great that has looked. Mm -hmm. So now the entertaining of fireplaces outside and fire pits, now it's the kitchen. Okay, so people want to be outside. They want to be cooking. Um, not so much you and I, but no. it's great to be out there to eat. Do you have one of these at your place? I do. I have a smaller one in stainless steel, and we do use it that. with a sink and the barbecue and everything. Okay, beautiful. So let's talk about designing an outdoor kitchen space. This one's from Outteriors. Correct. What do you need to think about if this is your jam and you want to do this? Okay, well, you can't just order kitchen cabinets and put it outside. So that's right. the first thing. It, it's not going to hold up. It's just going to fall apart. Yeah. So there's no wood in this. This is all. So all of the doors and everything are made out of these are powder coated marine grade aluminum. So marine grade, it can handle like the salt in the Caribbean and the snow and the ice here. So that's very important. And it also comes in in powder coated stainless steel. And, and I'll show you a resin one. But what's great about them is that you have every type of design. Yes. So it's really about designing the kitchen to match your house. Right. So it's not one size fits all. It's really about design. So you get that continuation happening from inside to outside. So look at these. So these are all the options of what you can have with the cabinetry. Correct. Oh, so nice. look at this. This is the, the powder coated aluminum, but it has a wood grain. Mm -hmm. It's unbelievable. It really looks like a bleached oak. Yeah. And it, it's all aluminum. So oh, in so the good. snow, in the rain, you can hose it down. You can do a louvered one. You could do, so that one's the aluminum. This yeah. one's in a resin. So you can see it's got that resin inside. It's sort of injection molded. Yeah. So again, no wood but it gives you that look of wood and that texture it really has that texture and then if you're a little more modern you can do this look which is the simple yeah. very modern or you can do the wood grain oh, with like the metal that. trim around it and there's lots of different um, uh, colors and grains and things like that but even when it comes to the door handles this one you just reach inside and pull it open yeah. but also you can choose hardware for the more traditional ones the same way you would do that in your kitchen inside very cool. so it's really about designing a kitchen to match the aesthetic of your house beautiful so then you have this extra space outside and it's all food in kitchens uh, let's just open them up and okay. see how that works so you've got so much storage out here, which is the sort of thing that we look for inside. You've got the recycling, you've got the garbage, you've got drawers for all of the utensils you're going to use out here. There's like never a need to go inside. You've got it all going on out here. It really is unbelievable. There's so much you can really, and, and everybody gravitates, grav, gravitates yeah. towards the kitchen inside. They're really going to gravitate towards this and sit Oh around. my gosh, you've just solved that age-old problem of, because I'm not a great cook, I'm not a confident cook, I don't like people hanging out when I'm in, when I'm cooking. Yes. Go outside! <laughs> now they can go outside to the outside kitchen. Okay, let's talk about these uh, countertops out here because this looks like something you would have in your inside kitchen. Absolutely. So these are um, a man-made quartz. Now, mm. when you're using a man-made material, you have to make sure that you can use it outside because mm. some of them have resin in them, and that's not good in the sun. Right. So it's, it will change the color, and it's going to uh, have some problems with it. Yeah. So you want to make sure your solid core material is an outdoor quality, or you can use granite, or you can use soapstone and things like that. Yeah. But if you use these materials, the same thing, the snow, the rain, the food, the spilling, nothing's going to affect it. So yeah. the whole point of this is that you're going to design in this kitchen and it's going to be effortless it's just about cleaning it but not about you know fixing it that's right and the the fact that nothing is wood out here is the big thing correct because and your wood is going to it's going to disintegrate it's going to need maintenance it's going to be a problem disaster and yeah. look at the way this one is up off the ground so you can see if the snow and the water are going Beautiful. through nothing so it's not sitting in the snow we've talked about everything but the barbecue so this is gorgeous there's a rotisserie yes. on it and everything like you can big, do everything big, big. out here um people and will enjoy this obviously because it's huge but they're also going to enjoy the one behind you Yes. There's a pizza oven, yes. which I think is so like hot right now in decor. People want to have their pizza ovens outside, but this one's beautiful. I like how like contemporary it looks. Absolutely. This is probably one of the hottest things we're doing right now in outdoor kitchens. We're doing the pizza oven. You just grab this.
Oh my gosh, you look so professional. And you He made a pizza. Out, and you just put it on here. Oops. Oh, gorgeous. You can tell I don't cook. Yeah, don't worry about it. I'm and right then, with you. And then there it is. Oh, that's so nice. But it's great because this particular station has our area where you can put in all the ingredients. Oh, my God. So the family can make the pizza together yeah. and then put it in here. I think this is just the best, the best. This is amazing, and it's amazing for entertaining. So you've got all these tools that come with it as well. you got to clean it and everything. Do you need a cover for any of this stuff if it's, if it's left outside? You don't really have to cover it. I usually say cover your barbecue in yes. this because you don't want critters getting inside in the winter. But a right. lot of people use this right even when it snows. I mean, there's people that barbecue and park is in the snow. Yeah. I, I mean, good luck to them. Listen, but we have a problem here in Canada. We get very excited very quickly. <laughs> I've noticed already we get into double digits, and by that I just mean 10 degrees. Open-toed shoes, shorts and t-shirts. We're to go. very excited. Listen, thank you so much for helping us uh, design our dream outdoor kitchens. Brian, it's so beautiful.